Hey guys, hi, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel, My Magical World. So today I am here uh, with a very beautiful uh, flower plant that is Ixora. And um, today I'll discuss everything about uh, this plant um, and uh, how to grow it indoor and outdoor and especially its summer care. So let's start friend. So uh, Ixora is a very common flowering plant we often uh, see in uh, different houses. So it's, you can grow it indoor, you can grow it outdoor. So this is the best part of uh, this Ixora plant. So uh, I'll start with uh, the soil. For this Ixora soil, here here I have taken and like 50% garden normal soil and mix it with uh, cocoa peat, vermicompost and little bit sand. But the Ixora, you can grow it in a normal garden soil. It will grow very well. You have to mix cocoa peat with it. So there is uh, not at all it's a problematic to uh, grow Ixora in a normal garden soil just mix cocoa peat or if you have cow dung that also we can mix next is um it's uh, the size of pot so it's always better if you take um, you know pot uh, like uh, 8 to 10 inch because exora like little uh, wider pots and uh, next how to grow it the propagation yes you can grow it um, with the help of stem stem cutting is very popular uh, whenever we are thinking about growing Ixora. so my this plant i have grown this plant from a stem cutting and i have propagated it in water so uh, if i say uh, you know it's in water or soil what i have learned like if you cut say say for example this Stem, you can see it's little hurt so just take out one piece and then put in the water and after initial seven days you have to change the water and uh, within three weeks within three to four weeks the roots uh, will start coming so after that let the roots come out and after that you can plant it in a pot or in the um, uh, ground so and if you want to grow it um, from st stem and you want to plant it in a soil directly then you have to use a hormone powder or the aloe vera gel and you can plant it in a soil so um, usually exora like they grow very well and they do not need much care so next is the sunlight yes exora need lots of lots of sunlight so if you are growing Exora in uh, your home like indoors say in the balcony so just select a balcony or uh, the um, window where or, you know the plant will get lots of sunlight. If the whole the sunlight then also it will not harm the plant. But it is too warm like um, you know it's, this is the plant of tropical um, area so they grow very well in tropical uh, zones. But if it's too hot, says uh, the temperature is more than uh, 40 degree, you know, then better to avoid the afternoon sunlight, which is very strong and harsh. Otherwise, they like sunlight a lot. And also, they, the soil should be moist all the time. It's not that the soggy, they do not like soggy soil. But here you can see, if you touch it, see, uh, uh, yeah, you can see, yeah, see that the soil is uh, not dry or it's not soggy it's just moist because the it's the sticking in my finger so they need and you have to water if um, you are in hot and humid um, temperature then you have to water them twice a day is better early morning and after sunset so uh, and if it's a pleasant weather like you know below 25 degree then daily you have to water then and but if it's a below 20 and it's a humid little bit and it's not so dry and not so warm then after every alternate day you can water them uh, but it's better if you check the soil and water them and uh, next is the uh, pruning so for example the best part of this plant this plant doesn't need um, lots of pruning you know say uh, say after this, this flower this will stay uh, for a month 
you know uh, the one month or 1.5 months this flower will grow so after that there is if you want to prune it you just have to remove this flower uh, bunch when it will get dry otherwise if you want to leave like this you can leave it like this but if you want to make it bushy if it's in a pot you can see it's uh, slightly bushy so then you have to say here the two uh, two stems you can see here two stems so and flower is coming in this stem so after flowering i'll cut it here and also in this stem after flowering i'll cut it here so that it will become bushy but for beginners um, i'll suggest better not to go for uh, um, any pruning or any cutting of the stem let them uh, spread and let them grow at least let them grow or oh, um, you know say at least uh, um, uh, if you are going in the, on the on the ground then let them grow two to three feet and then you can start pruning and if in the pot let them grow at least one feet uh, and the pot size is big then no problem so um, uh, yes this is the pruning and uh, next is the pest pest is very rare for this plant so uh, you no need to worry you just enjoy uh, seeing them it's a kind of anti-stress plant and if you see any kind of pests or ants just you have to uh, spray thermonic uh, water mix with liquid uh, soap any liquid soap or neem oil so and if ants are there in the um, uh, soil if you see that ants are there everywhere and on the bottom also then it's better if you squeeze a uh, you know little bit uh, lemon so they the ants uh, hate lemon juice so you can uh, um, uh, squeeze and sprinkle some lemon juice that's it now uh, next is uh, like um, i want to add certain things here see if you are bringing exora from nursery so uh, like uh, give them some time to get adjusted in the new environment and then you can report it so if you want to um, uh, you know plan the report the plan in a bigger size pot that also okay same size pot that also okay and if you are growing it in the ground say um, nowadays you know people are living in uh, uh, villas and uh, uh, the individual uh, houses if you want to uh, you know grow this plant in your landscape gardening then you can uh, grow them very well and no need to prune even let them grow it will grow you know six to seven feet height and give you lots of flower throughout the year because it's a perennial plant and it will give you lots of flower throughout the year and especially during summer and rainy season yes you love to see them because the uh, plant will full of flower here also you can see the buds lots of buds coming here so soon they will start flowering there so friends i think i have covered all the areas um, to how to care for exora and how to grow them so thank you friend for uh, watching my video and uh, please like my video and please subscribe to my channel thank you friends take care and bye bye